This is my story of 3D printing at the Meta Lab in Austria. All these parts, the white parts are printed. But the rest is so Is this the substrate? This is, this this is ABS, yeah. This it, it, um, ABS is like the yeah. plastic mm -hmm. that's used for Lego. Yeah. Stuff like this. So this is normal, normal stuff. Yeah, it works like an um, endless, endless hot glue gun, mm -hmm. kind of. Because this filament oh, yeah. driven in by this M6 screw, it, it gets heated. And yeah, there's a temperature sensor and a heating, heating coil for heating it. Oh, wow. Everything, all this I can for here. Oh wow! Oop. That's too fucking cool. Well, there's something else that's fucking cool. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's on the web. Yeah, it goes. Oh wow! Or or what else? So when I was taking photos, oh, I was actually struck by how well the plastic would diffuse the flash on my camera's lens. I decided, why the hell not just design my own lens diffuser? Really fascinating stuff they can make there. Ours is a pretty simple project in comparison, but they still got excited about it. First it lays it down a base pattern. The filament, filament comes out. So now it sticks. Is it too deep? Mm -hmm. We still haven't printed so perfect. Makes a little crosshatch sort of grid base that will easily pop off of the work plate. And can then just be snapped off of the final design. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and here we go with the beginnings of the actual object. Uh -huh. This should be the right size, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then it looks more like a fashion plate. I don't like it. No, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Let's see when I get my new glasses. Oh, so it doesn't let it pass around. I think it makes three or four layers here now. So this will be the solid face. Someone's hair... Okay, that is going to cross hatch the other way. Yeah. yeah, someone's hair is now part of your... That's fine. You have a hair? Yeah. Where's the hair? Okay, now it's part of it if it's inside there. <laughs> That's quite alright. You can really see that plastic being laid down. It's like amazing. And of course this is all just minutes after I got the idea. Somebody grabbed a caliber, we measured out the dimensions of that part of my camera that covers the flash. We did some CAD rendering, and no joke, it, it probably took longer for the heating element to be prepped than it took to actually prepare the 3D model. It works on a surprising number of locks. Sometimes uh, if you have a keyed lock, and you open Hear us fact, teaching lock picking in the background. Bag of locks. With a hook, short hook, I have all the tools. It's like showing up and drawing someone. You can try, it's not going to work very well. Walls 
we're probably about two thirds of the way done. I wish that one side was thinner. I can thin that out manually. I'd rather thin it out manually. What are we making? It's a diffuser for a slush. A light diffuser. Because I'm always grabbing pieces of paper or something else so I can take a flash photo up close without it being all white. At first it's a bit shallow, so it will easily pop We almost got it. You can, you can hear it clicking and pushing. But yeah, if it was a little deeper, a little longer, it would have been all the way in. That might get it now. That might get it. So, if it's all the way in. Yeah. However, you feel comfortable. If you feel mend and crumple, then that's going to die after doing one more attempt. Maybe try the next attempt the other way. Just make another one. Then just make another one. The only problem with this is well, you buy a better lock. That's the idea. And it's done. Exactly. <laughs> we pop the piece off the hot plate. All right, it's finished. And there we have it. Let's see how it looks. All done in five minutes. Now here's a photo with no diffused flash. Here's the exact same photo afterwards with a flash diffuser. Same camera settings. Again, photo up close with a flash. Photo with a diffused flash. Really is beautiful, isn't it? Here's the diagram I had drawn. Photoed the same way and then again with a diffused flash. And of course, a little rock and roll poster on their wall. And again with the diffused flash, you get the punchline. Just as I was leaving, someone else was making their own flash diffuser for his camera. Thanks again, Metalab. You guys fucking rock.